there's a phone call for me. It's from the space station. It's from, yeah, it's right. Oh, Luca. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> 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 that's, that's, that's happened to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Okay, we've got, what, about 30 seconds uh, before they got to take the mic away from me and, uh, and start making things happen. Space Station is over uh, the U.S.-Canadian border, it looks like, if I'm reading, yeah, uh, between, uh, I think it's uh, Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Uh, coverage is into Michigan, uh, Ohio, Illinois. Uh, and Ontario, so it's getting real close to us. Uh, at least I get a few laughs from now, now and then. Okay, I'm going to hand off the microphone and we're going to gear up uh, for a contact with the International Space Station. November 1, November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra, November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra, here is Kilo 2 Bravo Sierra Alpha from the Summit Bechtel, Scout Reserve in West Virginia, over, over. November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra, this is Kilo 2 Bravo Sierra Alpha, good morning Major Palmitano, greetings from West Virginia, we just barely heard the first transmission you made as you're only four degrees above the horizon to us, so good morning Major Palmitano, over over. November one, November Alpha One Sierra Sierra, November Alpha One Sierra Sierra. Here is Kilo Two Bravo Sierra Alpha. Over. November Alpha One Sierra Sierra. Good morning, and I'm waiting for your question. Good morning. We have good copy. It's very nice to hear you, Major Palmitano. Here we are with the first question, over. Hi, I'm Keenan, Keenan Baird from Mesa, Arizona. Were you in scouting as a youth or as an adult leader? I, uh, actually, I was not. Uh, I was, uh, wasn't involved with scouts. I had other activities, but the scouts as a kid was, uh, was not one of those, unfortunately. Hi. Hi, I'm Hayden, and I'm from Conway, Arkansas. In scouting, we practice leaving that trace, meaning that we leave campsites if we found them. How do you practice leaving that trace in space? Hi, uh, we do it in two ways. The first one is that the space station is like our common home. So every time, I, uh, every time we leave the space station for a new astronaut to arrive, we give everything the way we found it. Uh, so we clean up and we make sure that we don't leave any of our personal traces. The other way I'm 
I'm Kyle Jones from Sales Globe, Oregon. I'm working on the robotics net badge, and I'd like to know how robots are being used on the space station. Over. I, we use robotics all the time. Um, and, uh, as a matter of fact, last week when I was outside with my spacewalk, uh, Karen Nyberg, after Karen Nyberg, she was uh, maneuvering uh, a robotic arm uh, to move people. I'm Lucas Cardenas from Mexico, Texas. Have you ever put up a satellite in space? I'm Will from Reading, Connecticut. How do you communicate with your family while you're aboard the space station? Hi, we have uh, uh, three ways to communicate with the family. The first one is actually through the internet. We have a program called IP Phone where I can connect to a phone on the ground and then from, that, from there I can call anybody in the world. The second way is via email. We have an uh, email service. And the third way is uh, once a week we have a, a video video phone call, video conference, but like it's still like this and my wife, over. Hi, I'm William Michael from Pennsylvania, and I wonder what food do you miss on Earth? We have a wide selection of food here on the space station, both American, international, I have Italian food, but there isn't really a lot like this. But one thing that I really like is uh, Italian espresso, and you cannot make that on the station, so that's one thing that I, that I miss a little bit, over. I'm Andrew Brazo, I'm from New York. How would you suggest that SCAD and promote interest in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics? Over. That is a great question. I think the best way to do it is by example. Show everybody, show kids your own age, show other students that science, technology, engineering, and math are very cool things. They increase your knowledge of the world and they will open the ways for you to grow and be successful in your life. Over. Hi, I'm Ryan Hyatt from Denver, Connecticut. Uh, what subject should I study to become an astronaut? Over. It also, that is also a great question. Apart from those that I, that I mentioned in the previous answer, I suggest that you study what you really like. Because there isn't really a, a field or qualification that makes you an astronaut in the future. But it, 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 what, what really matters is to be good at what you do. So, so pick something you like, love it, and be really good at it. Over. I'm Gavin Cuero from Idaho. Do stars, size, and color look different when you see them in space? Over. Keenan Baird from Arizona. Uh, what was the most difficult task during this mission? Over. NA1SS, Kilo 2 Bravo Sierra Alpha, over. This is 
Mrs. Hayden again. Can you see meteor showers from the ISS? Yes. Uh, if you see, if you were in a, in a time where we had a meteor shower, we would see it. The only difference is that we see it below us instead of above. Always. I'm Kyle Jones. Do you ever have a good night's sleep on the space station? And do you dream the same way as you do on Earth? Over. Uh, yeah. We I'm Lucas Cardenas. What would you like to do most after you come back to the Earth? I'm Will Wyland. What would you like to do in space in the future? November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra. This is Kilo 2 Bravo Sierra Alpha. Greetings saying 73. We're grateful for the contact and thanks for joining us at Summit Bechtel Scout Reserve in West Virginia. Over, over. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have shared a moment of history. Amateur radio station K2BSA has communicated with astronaut Luca Parmentano, KF5, KDP, aboard the ISS, talking with scouts at the National Scout Jamboree at the Summit Bechtel Scout Reserve in West Virginia. Thank you to all our participants now for K2BSA and the radio amateur satellite community. We send our greetings in amateur radio terms. 73, which means best wishes. Thank you.